everyone. Welcome to January's PD on Resetting After the Break, presented by C Squared. I'm Christian B. Lott. And I'm Christopher Moore. So we want to take a moment and share four quick tips for resetting after the break. We're going to talk about taking time to connect, doing community building activities, revisit classroom expectations, and review and practice classroom procedures. So let's go ahead and talk about tip number one, taking time to connect. After the break, it is important to reconnect with your students and welcome them back to your classroom. You want to reestablish trust and safety. As you're connecting, it is always important to remember that it may not have been a joyous break for every student. So here are a couple questions that you can ask. So here's one. Instead of asking, where did you go during the break? Try asking, what was one good, happy, or interesting thing you saw or did? Another thing you can do, instead of asking, what was your favorite gift? Try asking, what's something you'd like to share about your winter break? Lastly, instead of asking, what did you eat for your big holiday meal? Try asking, What's one reason you're happy to be back in our class? Here are a few other questions that you may be able to ask. What is one goal you have for yourself for the rest of the school year? Is there anything you'd like me to know as we head into the second half of the school year? And what is one thing you learned during the, school, during the break? The important thing to remember is that you want to ask questions that make your students, all of your students feel safe and welcome back into your classroom. Tip two, do community building activities. As your students are coming back into the building, set aside time to rebuild classroom community with some fun community building activities. This will help ease your students back into the learning environment and rebuild connections with one another. Below are a few community building activities as examples. For more detailed descriptions and additional examples, please scan the provided QR code or type the bit.ly link from the description box. Be sure to scroll down. Upon students return from break, it is opportune moment to review and reinforce classroom expectations, which is tip number three. This is particularly important for students who may have encountered challenges in following instructions prior to the break. Furthermore, it is excellent opportunity to redirect attentions towards any anchor charts if you have them in your classroom. Tip number four, review and practice classroom procedures. Now is the perfect time to go over these classroom procedures, such as lining up, retrieving supplies, restroom protocols, and any other procedures relevant to your specific classroom. Pay special attention to those procedures that pose challenge, challenges for your students prior to the break. And let's do a quick recap of our four quick tips for resetting after the break. Number one, take time to connect. Number two, do community building activities. Number three, revisit classroom expectations. And lastly, number four, review and practice classroom procedures. Remember that every student may not have had positive experiences during break and asking wrong questions could bring up negative memories that may cause students to shut down. You do, however, want to welcome every student back into a trusted and safe environment before diving back into curriculum. Taking the opportunity to reset 
will allow you to reestablish your classroom environment and prepare the remaining of the school year. Thank you for taking time to watch our video. We hope you have a wonderful rest of the school year and we look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, please follow us on all of our social media accounts. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.